my name is Lycus1985 and this is my review of Marvel Legends Toy Biz Build-A-Figure Apocalypse and this is actually a really nice figure I decided to review it now because I'm actually really getting excited about action figures again you know with the recent release of the new updated Marvel Universe figures it's really sparked my interest again in collecting some action figures not really big time but just the ones I like um, I've already picked up World War Hulk. I'm on the lookout for Thor. Um, this is the this is the Marvel Universe line I'm talking about. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting Apocalypse when he comes out. Uh, Scarlet Spider, uh, X-23, and Doctor Doom. This figure stands an impressive 14 inches tall. People, excellent scale of a figure. All right, so let's have a closer look at the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Apocalypse, starting with the head. Just an amazing sculpt in the head. You can see his furrowed brow, uh, nice detail on the cheeks there. You even see what appears to be a vein on the side of his face. Uh, really fantastic molding detail. Got the A at this collar guard there. Uh, this is all paint here, or at least it appears to be. Uh, you've got some details on the side uh, in terms of as musculature, uh, but also some what appears to be almost like weathering. Uh, and you've got the A here. And moving down, some shadowing here. And some silver on his boots. Very nice. Now these uh, conduits here, they actually unplug, as you can see. Uh, they also unplug from the arm as well. As you can see, the head can go side to side, so up and down, side to side. Uh, ball hinge shoulders, shoulders can go out, uh, forward. Uh, you got swivel at the biceps, bend at the elbow. Uh, there's no, really no uh, wrist articulation. Now it does have individual fingers as far as the main four fingers. And as you can see here, they're cast in a, in a weird way. This may be cartoon accurate, I'm not sure, or comic book accurate, but you can see they're in like an L-shaped. They look kind of funny. I mean, if they're together like that, it looks like he's about to punch somebody, which I guess makes sense. But when you take them out like this, or look at them, you know, individually, they look kind of strange. Uh, ratcheting torso articulation, a very loose waist joint, uh, ball jointed hips, legs can go out, forward, back, swivel at the thigh, double bend at the knee, which is quite impressive, as you can see there. Uh, you do have a swivel right there and appears to be just a, a swivel type of joint here probably not a ball joint because it would probably be too weak but you can see actually the, the the foot can move side to side and you know forwards and backwards as you can see right there it's got even toe articulation right there so fantastic figure and here are the two build -a figures that I have in my collection. And the difference I notice between the two of them, if we look at Sentinel, it has a more extensive paint job. I mean, every inch of the body is, you know, has custom paint on it applied to it. Whereas if we look at Apocalypse, yes, he does have paint, especially on the torso, and of course the head. But I think the arms, the light blue color, is actually the color of the plastic. I mean, yes, you have those dark blue-black highlights for shadow effect, but majority of it is just the color of the plastic, I believe. And then moving down to the legs, same thing with the legs. You've got the light blue plastic and the dark blue-black shadowing effects, effects. And then, of course, with the lower part of the leg you get some more painting details as well but overall very nice 
what I think is really fantastic about this particular Apocalypse is because he's so tall, he really makes a good display if you put some Marvel Legends Toy Biz 6 to 7 inch figures next to him. As you can see. So the really cool thing about displaying three and three quarter figures next to the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Apocalypse Build-A-Figure is that the size difference is greater even more so with these three and three quarter inch figures as you can see. Well, Apocalypse is about to take out the trash. What can go toe to toe with Apocalypse. Hmm, let me think. There can be only one. One slash 60 scale non grade Gundam Exia for the win. So, if you want to pick up this Marvel Legends Toy Biz Apocalypse build a figure, your best friend probably is going to be eBay, unless you happen to live in a large metropolitan area where you have several comic shops, you may find this guy. Or you may find even the complete set of, or complete wave of figures. Because remember, uh, back in the day, back in 2006, each of these parts of Apocalypse, his arms, his legs, his torso, they all came packaged with other figures. So you could collect the figures and the build-a-figure parts. In my case, I went on eBay and purchased a used Build-A-Figure Apocalypse for around $50. Because I was not interested in the figures that came packaged with the parts for Apocalypse. So there you go. A look at Marvel Legends Toy Biz Apocalypse. That's right, they sure don't build toys like they used to.